We continue coverage on a shooting that left a man dead in Carbondale. News 3's Danny Valle is near where that shooting happened over the weekend, and he joins us live with an update. Danny, good evening. Hey, Mark, good afternoon. I'm right across the street from University Village Apartments here in Carbondale. This is where Robert Delmore Jr. lived and ultimately where he lost his life. And that's according to Illinois State Police. They're, they're the ones leading this investigation. And, Mark, about half an hour ago, I spoke to Jackson County State's Attorney Joe Cervantes, and he tells me that he has filed first-degree murder charges against Keon Folks in the death of Robert Delmore Jr. So that is the newest information we have at this hour. Let's take you back to where this all happened here at University Village around 1.30 Saturday morning. That's when police were called to the apartment building after reports of gunfire. There they discovered the body of 26-year-old Robert Delmore Jr. Police have not released any further details since yesterday. And I also spoke to the family this weekend. They're obviously distraught and heartbroken over this loss. Now Delmore's father says he got a phone call from a family member saying, Delmore was involved in a fight and then a gunshot went off. Now, Delmore's father told me he raced to the apartment building and he found his son's body on the ground. Now, this morning, University Village sent out a letter to its residents. I'll read just a part of it. They said, quote, an identified guest and an unknown person had an altercation. We ask that if you see or hear of guests or others that should not be on or roaming the property, they will have them removed. And so the family I spoke to them this week, and they were told by police that Delmore died quickly, but that's all they know, and they're hoping to learn more in an autopsy that's scheduled this afternoon. Those results, Mark, are still pending. Reporting live here outside University Village Apartments in Carbondale, I'm Danny Valle, News 3.